Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make custom templates for your digital planner um, directly on your iPad. So this is a question I received on Instagram and I just wanted to um, show it on a video because I think that's probably the easiest way. So I've just gone to a blank insert here and I'm going to show you a couple of different methods. So the first one is Google Docs. If you just put Google Docs in um, Google and then you can come into here and then do personal, go to Google Docs and then just tap on blank. So you see this icon here, if you tap on this, it will show you the full table. And then you can do insert table here. And here you can pick the number of columns and rows. So I'm just going to say do three by 20. And then you can see this table comes out and then by grabbing the, um, the columns, these lines in the middle, you can change the width. You just have to make sure that your um, pen is directly on that line. And then you can type directly into the box itself. And then you can also align this so that the um, word is in the middle. So I found that sometimes the um, for me, the keypad doesn't come up, but if you type in it a couple of times, eventually it does. So I'm just going to make um, a expenses tracker just as an illustration. And what you can do is also, you can also color the box in. So um, let me just, so if you tap on the cells that you want, and then just highlight them like this. And then you can go into format, table, and then you can do table properties. And then here you can change the, um, this is the, like the width, the thickness of your table borders. And then here is the color of your table borders. So I'm going to leave it as black, but the cell color I'm going to change into, um, I don't know, let's do this pink color and then tap on OK, and you can see now this is colored in. So because I know that my page is kind of a bit more um, longer and thinner, I'm just going to I'm going to do that. And then you just want to make sure that your cursor is out of the table itself. And then you can just take a screenshot of this. So on the iPad, I'm just going to take a screenshot. And then I'm just going to copy this page. So once it's copied, you can just come out of the screen. So you don't need that screenshot. It's on your clipboard. And then I'm going to go back into GoodNotes 5, into the page where I want to put that insert. And then just long press and tap on paste. And then I'm just going to crop out the bit that I want. You can also um, use the handles on the side to make it a bit narrower to fit your page. And there you go. And then you can also just duplicate this onto the other side as well. Copy, paste. And then just make sure this is lined up. And for the headers, you can just put down a text box. And you can also change that font if you wanted to. And then I'm just going to move that and copy that on the side as well. And there you go. You can then just write over the top of this. And you can also copy both templates onto another page if you want to do that. Oh, I missed out the headers, but yeah, you could just grab everything and then just copy that all across to another page. So that's one method. And I'm just going to quickly go back into Google Docs and show you that um, if you wanted the if you wanted the width between the cells to be wider, what you have to do is just to tap on um, enter a couple of times. So I'm just in the cell. And then if you just do that, 
and this will give you wider boxes. And um, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do it is um, using Procreate. So I'm just going to go into one of my existing inserts. Um, so let's see. Let's say I want to use um, Meal Plan. And I'm just going to take a screenshot of this page. I'm going to copy it. And once I've copied it, I'm just going to come out of this page and I'm going to go into Procreate app. So within this app, this is um, a really good drawing app and you can just put the clipboard that you've just copied into Procreate app. And what you can do is then you can drop colors in. So um, I'm just going to pick some random colors. And if you find that um, if you find that when you start to drop in the colors, it does this, it's the tolerance. You just need to slide this, do you see this blue bar at the top? You just need to toggle that until you get to um, the, the shading that you want. So I'm just going to undo this because that color is a bit too dark. Yeah, you get the idea. So once you've done that, let's say you've colored um, all the boxes that you want, you can just, well, you can just do the screenshot method or, um, let's see, copy canvas within the settings and then just go back into GoodNotes 5. And I'm just going to go back into, well, actually, I can just put it over the same page. So let me go back to meal plan. So you can put it on a blank template or if you just want to put it over your existing template. You can just crop this once again. And then you've replaced your template with this new one that's colored in. So that's one other method. And then I'm just going to show you a different um, a different way that you could make custom templates directly within GoodNotes itself. So I'm just coming over to a blank page. So within the shape tool, um, just make sure you've got fill color turned off. And then let's say you want black borders for your table. I'm just going to pick the black color and then choose the width of your table. And then you can just draw the rough shape of what you want and that will give you a perfect rectangle. And then let's say I wanted to fill this rectangle with a color. You could also do that by going to the brush pen, do fill color, and then I'm just going to pick a different color. Let's say um, this blue one. And if you want to zoom in a bit, you just want to trace roughly around the edge of your shape and then tap on the back button and you see now that's now filled in the color and to change the color you can just use the lasso tool and then tap on color and change it to anything else that you want. So once you've done that you can then just you can resize the whole thing And you can copy this and duplicate it so that all your boxes are the same, are the same size.
And once again, you can copy the entirety of this page and you can duplicate it into other weeks. And here is one where I coloured all the boxes using the trick that I showed you and where you use the lasso and you tap on the colour, you can change the colour in here. And then if you want to put a grid inside these boxes, you can also use the same shape tool and just draw. And you can see, you can reposition this line. You can also resize it. The other thing that you can do if you don't want to make your own boxes at all is that you can go into your planner and go into any existing spread. So let me just go to one of um, our daily pages. And you can basically take a screenshot of this and just crop the tables that you want from this page. So let me just go back to my blank page and I'm going to show you So let's say that I just wanted um, this checkbox. But I want that on this side of the page. Um, and you can resize it as big or small as you want to. And then you can also paste that and crop it again to get a different box. So you can basically use the, exist the um, existing templates that you have in your planner. You can also, so you can also resize this and change the dimensions. Um, you can use the existing templates within your planner to make useful um, kind of stickers. And then you can always just use the lasso tool to move this around. So once you have like a setup that you like, you can just um, duplicate the whole page or copy across everything on the page onto a new spread when you want it. Um, so yeah, that's one other way that you can um, make your own templates. So I hope that video was helpful. If I've missed anything out, please drop me a comment and let me know how you customize your templates. And yeah, please give me ideas for other videos and tips you would like to see. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time.